This is Visuino Custom Code 01100111. And for all you humans that don't use 2 bit math, 103. Alright, so in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to add another output a uh, integer output and we're going to perform some kind of a function inside of the custom code and output some kind of an integer like a counter or uh, maybe do some math with it and get a sound frequency going or a uh, PWM blink rate or a fade rate for the onboard LED you know something of that nature Make sure that you watch tutorial number 01100101 and 01100110, also known as 101 and 102. Um, make sure you open your outputs menu, add uh, one integer, and just leave it named integer one. Go ahead and expand inputs, uh, your digital one input. And then on data, open the input parameters box and delete line one that's been commented out. Let's clean it up a little bit. If you remember the quick tip from the last video, um, in the members right there, click on the little plus next to it to open up that small edit box. Uh, once you have that open, we're going to add a second member, which is nothing more than another variable. Uh, it's going to be an integer, so you put INT for integer, we're going to name it COUNT, C-O-U-N-T equals zero. Now also notice that on the boolean command for members on the first line, it says boolean digital one state equals false. I added the equals false sign there uh, just to show you that if you leave it blank, it's going to be whatever it is, I'm not sure what it will be. But you can set it to what you want it to start off with this way. Uh, true or false is all it uses. Doesn't use zero, one, doesn't use yes, no. It uses true and false. And so in the members, we're going to have so far two variables the Boolean, set it at false, the integer count set to zero. All right, let's open the easy edit box for the on execute. Uh, all we're going to do there is just delete that one line, clean it up, there's not going to be nothing left in here. Alright, and this video's quick tip is the ability to open multiple code boxes on the left side inside the custom code component. If you look, I've got a couple of the uh, quick edit boxes opened up and you can use this to remember what you have, copy paste, delete, uh, work with code, uh, stuff like that. Enjoy. Is open up uh, and expand your inputs digital one on data, and then open up the input properties page for uh, digital one on data. All right, let's run down what we've done here. The top section of the input parameters is digital one state and the digital one send. All you're doing is you're taking whatever the pulse generator is giving you. Um, uh, you're setting your boolean member to whatever that a value is and then you're sending that out the digital one pin the second section the count that is your uh, member for the integer starts at zero uh, it adds one first and then it goes if it is equal to or greater than 256 count equals zero so it executes that parameter and then the last part that it does integer one send count so it's sending whatever the count is out the integer one pin uh, all this is being done on the on data input pin the digital input pin is doing all this when that pulse generator switches high to low or low to high it executes all this and there's nothing in the on execute section. And for this sketch I increased the frequency in the pulse generator to two per second. Alright, so real quick, add the integer to text, 
wire it in between the custom code integer out and the output from the integer to text wire it right straight to the serial monitor going in. Uh, all this is going to do is going to show a true or false and then it's going to display the integer count and turn the both an LED on and off on board. Alright, so I've got my handy Hexapod helper Hank here holding on to the Arduino. <laughs> and it's uploaded. Let's see, the LEDs are working right. Let's connect. Exactly what it's supposed to do. Count one, print the state. So you can see it's adding one for every state change from true to false. It's working exactly like it's supposed to. How about that? All right, so I don't know. I don't know what to say about this one. Um, this is kind of a prelude to the next one. <laughs> Number, God, let's see if I can do this. Zero one one. Zero, zero one one zero one zero zero zero. Or number one oh four. <laughs> or that's going to be uh, basically we're going to start implementing some uh, some custom code calls and uh, using the on execute to perform some uh, more inputs. We're going to add more inputs and do the math so that you see how the actual on execute works. And then from there we start building it to the on and it and start and all that. So I hope you enjoy the series. Like, share, subscribe, comment, or don't. It's all good. Peace. Thanks for your help there, Hank. <laughs>